<laughs> hey guys, so I've been quarantining for a while due to the coronavirus. So I decided to make my boyfriend a cake. I'm um, gonna take one cup of flour and then um, a fourth cup of brown sugar <laughs> and then two eggs. I don't, I just honestly like don't even bother cracking them. I'm gonna do a cup of um, oat milk. Shout out to all my vegan friends. You're just gonna pour that. It looks so good, oh my gosh. Okay, this is just a really funny cake. Like, I don't get why my boyfriend likes this cake so much. Like, I love to make him this cake whenever possible. <laughs> so I just take a banana, it's weird. And then um, peanut butter chips. So yeah, it's like a peanut butter banana cake. I'm just gonna whisk it a little bit. And then, um, that's the final Awesome. Girls are professional positioners. Alright? What I mean by that. Uh, they're not making no moves. They're going to position themselves in the perfect place for a move to be made. You know what I mean? Alright, for example, you and a girl at each other on Snapchat. Let's just say for the sake of this example that she like your stink ass. What's the first thing she going to do? It's not message you, bro. It's, it's She going to post a selfie on her story. And that's for your dumb ass to go ahead and swipe up and be like, all right, you're pretty. When a girl likes a guy, she kind of got the blueprint all lined up for her. She knows they're going to get married, how many children they having, where the wedding going to be at, what kind of flowers is at the reception, all that shit. And guys, we just kind of wake up one day and we're like, oh my God, I'm married, three children, what the fuck? See, she got it all planned from the start and she just leave you a little Cheerio trail. And you just follow it and you're like, mm, I like Cheerios. And then you look up one day and she's just standing there tapping her foot like, what are we? And you're like, oh, uh, what do you mean? You think you made the first move, but really, she made all the moves. She made the whole fucking board game that you playing on like Candyland. And she like, over here to the finish. And you're like, okay, I guess I'll go over there to the finish. And that's how you wind up married. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Hello? Yeah, yeah, she's here. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Oh, they want to talk to me? Yeah. Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? Hello? Yeah, no. She's actually at the I phone can, right now. No, uh, I can't. Can I take a I message? I can't come in today. I'm sick. Yeah. No, really bad. Really bad yeah. diarrhea. Pooping a yeah. lot. Okay. <laughs> what? Hey, guys, I'm on Omega right now, so just come talk to me, okay? <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Ah! Ah! Hi. Hi. I'm a cop. Really? Yeah, so you better you better straighten up. Okay. Okay, have a good night. You too. Hi. What's up? I'm a cop. No. Yeah, so you you better straighten up on here. I've been seeing what you're doing. I ain't no bad kid, man. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Just I'm just telling you I'm a cop and serious. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. You too. Hi. I'm a cop. So. Yeah. So you better straighten up. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Hey, motherfucker. I'm a cop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yeah, I'm a cop. You're fucked. Babe, you think Moose is okay? Yeah. You think he loves us? Yeah. Oh, he just seems sad today. He's fine. Do you know where the jewel is? You just spilt the wine. No, Looking I for know, the jewel. but it's just, I lose the jewel <laughs> all the time. I don't know. My packages came, but I just ordered these last month. Don't worry. It's just jeans. It's just jeans, okay? Okay. <laughs> and nobody's leaving. Until we find the jewel. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Babe, do you think this shelf would look good here? Like, I, I, I love to mount shelves. There's a sh shelf and mirror. And can you mount this on the wall for me? <laughs> Could you mount this? I know we have a lot of shelves on the wall everywhere. Shelves everywhere. It's fine. Could you mount one more for me? And this is the last one, I promise. <laughs> Just one more shelf right here. Can we do that? <laughs> Can I see your jewel? Can I check the cereal on I your jewel? I Can I just check it? Oh. 
Oh, never mind. Have it. <laughs> how my morning's going okay i wake up i go to take a shit like i always do all right it was pretty good it was decent you yeah, like seven out of ten all right and then i wipe my ass like i always do okay first wipe no surprise there's shit on it you ain't gotta investigate much further just throw it in the toilet move on after that you gotta start looking at the toilet paper everybody knows when the toilet paper clean so is your butthole right well i didn't have my contacts in my eyesight is pretty bad i get real close to shit to be able to see it you know, and I got astigmatism. My depth perception ain't the best. Long story short, I, I wipe shit on my nose. I wipe my own shit on my nose. So unless you wipe shit on your face this morning, you're having a better morning than me. Have a good day. Look, do y'all be playing Fall Guys? Because I be bullying children on this shit. Look at this clip I just took. Look at this. Look at this. I don't care if you a child or not. You getting bullied. Look, look, look. He's struggling now. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, bud. You done. <laughs> I don't care who you are, all right? If I catch you standing around looking sweet around me, I'm going to grab you. I'm going to watch you fall off the fucking map. All right, look at this. Same game. Same game, right? Peep, peep, boxer man. Peep, boxer man. Look at him. Whoop. See ya. Ah. Look at this, same game, same game. Look at it, y'all fighting, y'all fighting. Whoop, thank you. My crown, they call me the crown bandit out here. I don't know, I think I'm beating a bunch of little kids, but I don't give a fuck. I, I got like 20 some crowns, I'm out here getting it, getting it. Look at my guy, give a fuck. We got crowns, motherfucker. And my girlfriend was watching me play, and she gonna say, oh, why you bullying everybody? Mike, I ain't never seen you like this. Why you playing like that? Uh, fuck that, all right? That's why you be losing, all right? Because there's only one crown. It's either get or be got, all right? I ain't getting got. Y'all can have the next one. Unless I'm in the game, then that one's mine too. Y'all, the joy I get from just grabbing somebody and just putting them right off, it's just... Ah, oh, it's such a thrill, y'all. Y'all don't understand unless you be doing it. If y'all don't, if you're not the type of person that be grabbing people, start doing it. Because the one time you just and somebody falls off, you're gonna be like, ah, a lot of shit. Does anyone else's mom have like a weird obsession with the ID Discovery shows? Because I'm getting a little worried. Every time I go over there, she got the lights all off. She got the curtains closed, candles going. She got a fucking notebook, a pen in the past. She taking notes on this shit, like studying. And I'm like, what are you watching all the time? And she like, how to kill a husband. I'm like, What? Because dad's out there mowing the grass, minding his business, and you in here plotting, it seems like. You you premeditating shit. And she knows just a little bit too much, like she knows how to do it a little bit too well, that it makes us all a little bit paranoid, you know what I mean? Like, on the episode, the lady wraps up the body, she dumps it in the woods. My mom's like, mm, 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 mm. See, they gonna know by the teeth. She didn't pull the teeth. You got to pull the teeth. They're gonna know by the dental records. Ma! She knows we're on to her now, so if we go missing, y'all already know who to look for. My mother. I bet she at home right now watching How to Kill Her Husband and Son. Okay, Musa. Listen. Ah, I'm gonna put this here. You are drooling. Do not touch this, okay? Stay. I'll be right back. Did you wait? Get it. Good boy. You're such a smart guy. I love you. You need to start controlling your dogs when you take them to the dog park. Because every single time I go, there's like one or two dogs that just run shit. And they're unsupervised. And they're causing fucking havoc. Okay? Last week, I went and there was two big ass padoodles that was just harassing my poor puppy. 
Okay, they were just knocking his ass down and they were just barking in his face, both of them. And they were surrounding him. And I don't know what they were saying. I don't speak dog, but I assume they were saying something along the lines of, what's up, bitch? You better stay down, motherfucker. Because every time he tried to stand back up, they knock his ass back down again. Until I finally went over there and said, hey, simmer down, y'all. And today I went and there was a fucking lab or schnitzel running around that was trying to hump every dog in the park. And he finally got one down and he was humping him and all the rest of the dogs were scared. They wasn't doing nothing. My puppy, Good Samaritan, tried to intervene. He walked over and said, woof, woof. I don't speak dog. I don't know what the hell it meant, but I assume it meant something like unhand this man at once. And then the dog started growling while he humping the other dog and he looking at my dog. He like, Rrr. and I don't know what it meant, but I assume... He was saying, you next, motherfucker. And my dog ran back over to me and he was like, let's go, bro. They is not playing out. I tell you right now, I punch one of these mutts in the snout. They fuck with my puppy. I tell you that right now. Fine. Let's do it. Okay. <coughs> fuck. We already fucked up. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I can just do it. No, baby. Just do it with this. It's, well, this is getting, it's going to use my buttocks. Just do it. Hurry up. We only got a minute. Wait, tell Let's him about. Do, do it. Please. Yeah, just practice, please. Alright. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Musa, stop. <coughs> Damn it. Look, they shut Maryland down and they serious too. The governor got on TV yesterday. He said, look, if we catch you outside, it's a $5,000 fine and we sending you to jail, uh, which is good. Except I still see people outside just enjoying their day, just frolicking around, riding bikes and shit. And I'm just saying we should have went a little harder. You know, we've been anticipating this for weeks and everybody's been saying the same thing. Oh, oh, Baltimore about to wild out. Oh, they about to go crazy. Oh, they about to fuck the city up. And if there's people saying that, then there's probably people saying it in first person. And they're like, we about to wild out. You know what I'm saying? We about to burn this motherfucker down. You know what I'm saying? And if it was me, I would have went a little harder. You know, I would have let just a bunch of big cats just roam the city. I would have called that bitch Carol Baskin and I would have fucking... I would have got like 200 Black Panthers and just let them motherfuckers roam. I would have got on TV and said, shit, go outside if you want to. This is my baby. And ain't nobody finna touch him. Would you believe they want to charge me $5,000 to pull my wisdom teeth out? For what, bruh? They my fucking teeth. What the fuck are you charging me that much money for? I thought maybe, maybe a thousand dollars. I was like, that's bad even. But what the, I'd rather fucking let my teeth rot out before I give you $5,000 to pull them out of my fucking mouth. What the fuck? I'd rather take pliers and pull my wisdom teeth out. No anesthesia than pay you $5,000 to do that. Who the fuck knew pulling teeth would be like fucking... <laughs> Like pulling teeth, you know? How you doing, sir? My name is Mike. What's up, Pops? Fuck it is, dummy. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Hi, uh, Mike. It's uh, cool. Fucking your daughter. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, uh, pleasure to meet. What? I work at Chick fil A or something? What the fuck is yeah. this? Check this shit out. It's a cowboy hat. My dad gave it to me when I was a kid. You know, when I was like nine or so. He was like, you see that bullet hole there? Yep. Got that in a duel. Man nearly took my skull cap off. Bullet went right through here, came right out the back. And my dumbass believed it too. 
thought my dad was a cowboy. I wore this to school the next day. People was like, why are you wearing a cowboy hat? I was like, my daddy gave it to me. Hey Mike, what you wanna be when you grow up? I'm gonna be a cowboy just like my pappy. That's another thing. Uh, did people really duel in real life? Like you saw somebody you didn't like in the saloon or whatever, and you'd be like, this town ain't big enough for two of us, partner. And they'd be like, I don't know. What you wanna do then, cowboy? And then you would challenge him to a duel. Rules are pretty simple. You step outside, stand about 10 yards apart and just come on. First one to drop loses. And how often you think there was a tie? Like both shot each other right there dead. Y'all both lost. And I bet they still be doing that in Texas too. I hear everybody walk around with a revolver on their hip. What else would you need that for? If not a duel, you know? People talking, talking about people. I just ignore them, but they keep on saying we laugh just a little too loud. We stand just a little too close. We stare just a little too long. Maybe they're seeing something we don't, darling. Let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. How about love? Ooh, love, love it, let's get it. I don't know. I don't want to sing too loud because I don't want to wake up Robert and Nancy. And I have a sore throat. I've had a sore throat for like a month and a half. And this is not an acoustic environment that is suitable to request this from me. I'm riding around with no music because Apple want to be fucking different. Take the headphone jack out. And now I lost the little thing. You know, the, the thing that go into the thing that, do, that go into your phone. You know what I'm talking about? I lost that. And now I can't play music. And I don't listen to the radio. But my car got too many miles to be riding around with no music. I hear all the fucking sounds. I don't know what the fuck that is. But I don't want to find out. I got all the lights on. I don't know what the hell. I don't even know what the hell light that is. This is, oh, no, I'm stressed. Do you smell anything? No. That's a scent. <laughs> okay. Now, did you see any fruit there? No. That's a pear. <laughs> Stupid. How about any cars? Do you see any cars? No. Three Lincolns. <laughs> okay. Okay, got it. you see any snakes? No. Four copperheads. <laughs> <laughs> and now, finally, you see any pussy? No. No, for five cents, you ain't going to. <laughs> hey, look, y'all ain't going to believe this shit, okay? So, I just bought a scratch off for like the first time in my life, and I'm scratching it off, and I had this thought. I was like, if I win, I'm going to give all the money back to my followers, right? Which was a stupid fucking thought because I won, right? So, Hey, I'm a man of my word even when I don't say the word out loud, okay? So y'all winners today, okay? So, hey, drop your cash apps. Your boy just won $10, all right? So uh, this is about 500,000 of y'all, so that should be like two thousandths of a penny or something. So, hey, y'all keep saving up. You can put a down payment on a pack of gum. Hey guys, uh, my name is Mike. I'm 23 years old. I'm a Cancer. I'm 5'11 and a half, but with, with shoes on, I'm six foot. And I'm just looking for somebody uh, who's real low key, you know, somebody really chill and somebody I can really vibe with. So if, if you think that's you, what the fuck are you doing? What? what are you doing? Hey. Y'all ever told somebody have a good day and they just say, all right, that's it. All right, I can't get a you too. I can't get it. You don't care about my day. All right, yeah, yeah. Now nah, fuck your day. Fuck. I hope you have a terrible day, motherfucker. Nah, nah. It's too late. Don't try to say it now. Don't tell me what to do. You tell me now, I'm going to have a bad day just to spite you. And I don't want to have a bad day, so. Yeah, okay, boss. I'll tell you what I'm going to do to him. When I see him, I'm going to walk right up to that handsome son of a bitch. And I'm going to kiss him right on the mouth. And then after that, I'm going to give him a whack right on the back. Tell him how proud I am. What a great job he's doing. And then I'm going to take him out.
for some coffee. You know, catch up a little. And then, and then maybe I'll pay a visit to his family. See his wife, Holly, and his kids, Sebastian and Igor. Give them some money, make sure they're doing well. Because I love them like a brother. <laughs> what am I even saying? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my god. You ready to asparagus? You peas smell. Can I go to the bathroom with you? <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna do an impression of me seeing a dead deer on the side of the road. Okay. <clears throat> oh dear. Thank you. This is just a little something I wrote for someone who's real special to me. So, <clears throat> you know who you are. Alright. Here we go. <clears throat> she roosted in the morning, she cocking a doodle doodle do. -doo. She just spread my legs out and licked it up all the doo doo. Freak bitch, uses her mouth as a pooper school. Probably bend me over and lick up all of my booty juice. Yeah, she doodle bobbing me, hoy me noying all over me. <laughs> I said she's doodle bobbing me, hoy me noying all over me. Michael, that is fucking disgusting, okay? What are you doing? You got your aunties, your little cousins on your Snapchat? What? It, what is your... What about your poor mother? What is she gonna think when she hears this? Huh? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Just tighten up. Alright? You can't be just potty mouthing all over the internet. Tighten the fuck up, buddy. Potty mouth. That'd be a pretty good name for the song, huh? Because, you know...